Feeling alone and feeling lonely are slightly different. Feeling lonely is an emotional response to a physical thing that's happened in your life. So perhaps someone you love has moved to another city or moved out of the house. Um, for example, children leaving the home or a separation, or maybe you're actually on your own. Whereas feeling alone is something where you can actually be happy and feel alone. And what we'll be addressing in the next video with regards to feeling alone is when you're actually sad about feeling alone. And feeling alone is something that can happen regardless of whether you have people around you or not. So we're going to be tapping today for feeling lonely. Hi, I'm Ross Ann Clay, helping you deliberately create a life you love. The feeling of loneliness is a general term that we use to explain a lot of different thoughts and feelings. When you think of loneliness from the perspective that a physical relationship has ended, and I don't mean that it actually has ended, but, but let's say someone has moved to another town who you really relied on for support, there is a kind of physical relationship ending. Um, in the instance of a separation, yeah, definitely there's been a relationship ending. If you're living on your own, uh, that feeling of loneliness or the feeling of the relationship ending might have crept up on you slowly because initially you might have been fine, but perhaps as more and more people uh, left your life, uh, you didn't realize that the loneliness has crept up on you. And there could be all sorts of things that need to be fulfilled here. Uh, if you're living alone, it could be that there's some fear of going out and seeking new connections or finding new support networks. If you've just had a separation, it could be that you're feeling angry and vengeful towards this person. Uh, if you're, if someone who's really dear to you, uh, who you relied on very heavily for support or for company, uh, if they suddenly left, you might be feeling really sad and disappointed as well as a little bit of anger towards them, even though it's not their fault that they have left. So what we really want to address when we're doing this tapping is finding out what those underlying thoughts and feelings are. When we're able to identify them, it's easy to tap them away and it's easy to create solutions to fill that area of your life that's not working. Taking accountability for your own well-being, tapping on the credit chart point to start with and then just moving through all the points. Even though I'm feeling this loneliness, I choose to love myself, accept myself, and honor myself. Even though I'm feeling lonely, and I didn't want to admit it before, but it's feeling really prominent now. I choose to love myself, honor myself, and accept myself. Even though I'm feeling the loneliness quite significantly, and it's really getting me down, it makes me sad. I choose to love myself, honor myself, accept myself, and love myself anyway. All right, I'm just tapping through any of the points and repeating after me. All this loneliness, all this sadness, all this loneliness, what does it mean? What's really going on for me? What are the thoughts and feelings that I haven't been addressing? What are the thoughts and feelings that I've hidden from myself? I'm open to seeing them. I'm open to addressing these thoughts and feelings that are under my feelings of loneliness. Tapping on the gamut point, and I surrender all of these feelings to the highest energy for my greater good and the greater good of all those around me. Again, tapping again on the karate chop point, even though I'm feeling lonely and I'm awakening to the other thoughts and feelings going on, I choose to love myself, honor myself and accept myself anyway. Even though I'm still feeling lonely and I'm beginning to see what those other thoughts and feelings are, I choose to love myself, honor myself, forgive myself and accept myself anyway. 
even though I'm really gaining some awareness now of all the pain that this loneliness is actually causing me and I'm even feeling it in my body I choose to love myself, honor myself and accept myself anyway and just tapping through any other points all this pain and suffering I've been hiding it from myself I've been pushing all those thoughts and feelings down deep because I didn't want to admit that I was struggling but I am really hurt I am really upset everything's changed Things are not the way that I want them to be. I remember things were so much better. My relationships were so much better. My situation was so much better. There was so much more love and connection in my life. And now I feel so disappointed. I feel so sad. And I might even be feeling a little bit of anger even though I don't really want to admit that to myself I might be feeling quite a bit of anger actually that my situation has changed so much my situation has changed so drastically or maybe it's just crept up on me but I am feeling really lonely, really sad, really disappointed, really angry. I might even be feeling a little bit vengeful. How dare they? How dare they move away? How dare they want to leave me? How could they? I feel so rejected. I never wanted to admit this, but I really do. I feel rejected. I even feel abandoned. And I didn't want to admit that either. But more and more I'm feeling abandoned. Lonely. Sad disappointed, angry, vengeful, rejected, and abandoned. Ugh. And it makes me so mad that I'm having all these thoughts and feelings that I don't want to have. I don't want to be experiencing this. I wish it would all go away. It's heartbreaking. Yeah, I feel a little bit of it in my chest. There's a little bit of heartbreak there. And I want to let it all go. Tapping on the gamut point. And I surrender all this anger and vengeance. All this sadness. All this disappointment. All this abandonment and rejection. All these thoughts and feelings of loneliness. I surrender it all to the universe so that it can be transmuted to the highest energy for my greater good and the greater good of all those around me. All right, taking a stretch, stretching up. Now that's exposed a lot of thoughts and feelings, but the good thing there is you're becoming aware of what's going on inside your body and now as we go to the next stage which is the positive staging of tapping we can tap it all the way if those thoughts and feelings are very intense please let me know in the comments and i can create a script specifically for you uh, but for now let's jump into the positive let's start flushing out these toxins and let's really move through this energy so that you start to feel more empowered about what decisions, what actions you can start taking to deliberately create that life you love where you're no longer feeling lonely, but you're feeling empowered, you're feeling full of love, you're feeling full of connection. All right, 
So tapping on the karate chop point again. Oh, that was so heavy. And just tapping through any of the points. There's a lot of stuff that I'm working through. Yeah, that loneliness really creeped up on me. I don't know where it came from. Like it hit me like a block of bricks. So suddenly. I know it might have crept up on me a little bit. But I really wasn't aware of it. I really wasn't aware of how much loneliness I was really feeling. And I hadn't really addressed the impact of these people moving out of my life. And it might not be that they're gone forever, but there's definitely an impact. I have definitely felt it and it's been hard. Yeah, I'm going to admit that it's been tough, but I'm ready to let that go now. I'm open to seeing possibility. I'm open to seeing the steps that I can take. I'm open to seeing what my true thoughts and feelings are about the fact that I feel quite isolated and quite alone and very lonely. I'm open to addressing these deeper thoughts and feelings so that I can let them all go. Because I don't want to feel lonely. And I know that there's a lot more going on in my life. And I want to enjoy my life. I don't want to focus on the other aspects that have made me more lonely. I want to focus more on the aspects that keep me fulfilled. I want to have courage to create stronger support networks. I want to feel more connected with people. I am ready. I am ready and open to having deeper connections with people, to finding support networks, communities, and friendships. I'm ready to laugh more. I'm ready to love more. This loneliness has made me hold back quite a bit. So I am ready to give more. And most of all, I am ready to accept more. I am ready to accept more love, generosity, support, goodness into my life. And I'm ready to see it all. I'm ready for the universe to send me all these wonderful gifts. And that's exciting. There are so many wonderful gifts the universe could shower on me. That would really help my loneliness. And I am open and ready to receive that. I am open and ready to share myself with others. I am ready. I'm tapping on the gamma point and I surrender all these thoughts and feelings to the universe, to transmute them to the highest energy for my greater good and the greater good of all those around us. Nice, okay, stretch up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in, let it all out. 
flush out all those toxins from your body, drink lots of water, get lots of rest. You would have noticed in that tapping that I covered quite a few different areas and I will be doing tapping videos for those things. The tapping videos I do have at the moment that you can look at is tapping for deeper, more meaningful connections. I will put the links to that in the description. But if you do have any queries, please let me know. I'm here to help. In the meantime, sending you so much love and light on your journey. Bye for now.